This is an unboxing of the HOG1 hang on glass algae scrubber with green grabber texture surfaces. I'm going to show how easy and fast it is to install. Here it is in the box. This is what arrives in the mail. Instructions that you will want to read. And the unit and the power cord. So the first thing is to never let the two magnets touch each other because you'll never get them apart. If they do, without the cardboard, touch each other, don't pull them apart. You want to twist. You want to twist them to get them apart. Or get some thin cardboard and slide it between them. But best is probably to try to twist it. Just don't let them touch and you'll be fine. So here's your two 3 watt LEDs and your green grabber growth surface, extremely rough with your air bubble sliced airline on the bottom. So all you do is take off the tape, there are your very strong bar magnets, very strong. Connect it to the air pump. And it's just going to go like that. Okay, so we're just going to set that in there. Go ahead and turn the air on. Ah, not bad without even adjusting it. Doesn't have to be perfect. Oh, that's fine. That's fine. This would be too much on this side, but you can still see bubbles hitting this side. So they always hit. They always hit all areas because it's an enclosed space. This is probably best right here, though. You want to try to get bubbles going up both sides. So this would be the down version, and this would be the up version that would eliminate the bubbles for you. This will give you more water flow through it. This will give you less water flow through it. So let's just drop that and let's plug in the power supply which works on 120 volts or 220 volts. You just have to change the plug to get the proper plug. But the power supply works just fine. I'm going to temporarily put the cord up there, but you'll want to put it in a spot where it's not going to get wet. So anyway, that's about it. All you have to do is connect it. We'll just put it right there. And it's done. Okay, so as a reminder, That's with no bubbles. As you can see, all the bubbles are being removed. And that is with bubbles. And you can peek inside to see how the flow is. Of course, it's going to have the red light. If the red light is off, then you can just use a flashlight. If you get darker growth, you can raise it up. And that will keep the water inside the filter more, more times around, which will pull more nutrients out of the water and allow the algae to grow greener. But if you get very light growth, it's better to have it further down. And then, of course, when you want to clean it, uh, when it's time for cleaning, 7 to 21 days, just turn off the light and pop it off. Lift it up, 
Take it to the sink and brush off the algae, especially along the sliced air line. And I like to leave the air hose connected. As a matter of fact, you can, see, you can see some bubbles in it right now. But that helps you get the any algae growth out of the tube because it will grow quite a bit along in here. And you can lift up the tubing to maybe while you're blowing in the hose or while you have the air pump still on. Starting with, see the air goes this way. The air goes here and around. So if you keep the air pump on and then just move these segments this way, any algae that's inside the tube will go this way and eventually pop out. Then just tuck them in. See, so you're tucking in the, this segment under these segments. Or you could tuck in these segments under these segments. All you do is just push them in. And they go under the other ones. Okay? So, back on here. Tons of bubbles, as you can see, more than enough right there. Notice that. Uh, most of the tubing segments are working because I have a pretty high flow pump on here. And that's it. I hope you like yours.